Alright, well it's Polly Polly Poo Poo and I've been a rootin' tootin' a car bootin'. So, this car boot, uh, it, I guess you would kind of call it a car boot of two uh, stalls. Uh, and the first lot I'm going to show you is kind of what I first got when I first went in and then the last stuff I got when I came out from the same people. Type of thing. So the first thing was this Buffy the Vampire Slayer Book of Vengeance. And it's kind of a, a box set of action figures. Or, well, they're not very action figures, they're just kind of more figured. And it's Anya, I believe, and you can see it's one, uh, it's 1,825 of 5,000 limited edition. Um, so I saw that and I thought, that looks pretty decent. I'll ask how much they want, and the guy said, how much did I want to pay? <laughs> so I thought, well, you know... Uh, and I'll give you two quid, and he's like, for two quid it's yours. So I was like, champion, thank you very much, I love you, type of thing. And uh, that was my first purchase of the day. And then on the way out, uh, he had like a, a load of these buses, you know, so he, he, we have these nice stage coach buses, and he had loads of them. And uh, must have been like, you know, his big collection he's collected over the years and stuff. And usually when you buy enough collectors, they tend not to want to sell stuff that cheap. And I thought, for that, the most I'd really want to pay is a quid, and he was wanting sort of like £2 per bus. And my eldest got his eyes on the, the snaky bus, and he had to have that, didn't he? You know what I mean? He's like, oh, driving it along the field and stuff. It's like, dude, I haven't bought that yet, man. Like, bring it back. Nah, he was gone. He was picking up passengers. He was away. So, basically, they were like two quid, and then he had this one, and he was playing that with a snaky bus, adding that, and then another one. We're like, oh, well, you can have three of them for four quid and I was like four quid for three buses like I only want one and I only want to pay a pound and I, I'll you know I, I guess I'll pick that off with the band as well so he also had these uh, boxes of Clash of Heroes um, and I don't think he knew what they were at all uh, he was kind of trying to tell us that they had packets of sweets in and stuff oh they're still in date uh, dude I really wouldn't want to eat these things and there's already one opened uh, so we had this, these boxes, he uh, had two, and I was like, well, how much do you want for them? And he was like, oh, a quid each for the boxes. And I was like, oh, will you, will you do them both for a quid? And he was like, no, pawn 50 for both of them. And I thought, right, oh, so I picked these two boxes up, I picked the two buses up, and I gave him three quid. <laughs> so, and he took it, and he was like, right, oh, bagged it up, and off I went. So I thought, right, okay, so... Kind of, he wanted two pound, two pound, pound, pound. So he wanted six quid, and he, he took three. So it just goes to show you, you know, the car boot sales basically just tack the mick, and generally people don't mind. Other might mind, but they, they don't chase after you, shouting and screaming and calling names. So that's this, them bits. So I'll put them on one side, and in between this guy and this other guy, uh, I did get a few. Other bits and pieces. So here we have Jake from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. He was 20p. You're an awesome buccaneer. Thank you very much, Jake. What is that sneaky Captain Hook up to? Exactly. We've no idea. Sneaky snook Captain Hook. And this uh, Professor Z from Cars 2. So his his eyeballs change. So I think he can turn his mouth around as well. I don't know if his mouth's supposed to work at the same time, but there you go. He was 20p also. So. That's from Mac Missile. And then there was somebody selling that a box of toys. Not a great deal in there. But they had these chicken run. Chicken run? Chicken run. Uh, by Playmates. And they were like 50p each for the figures in the box. And I was like, oh, well, there's three of these. And they were like, well, you can have the three of them for a quid. So I thought, three figures for a quid. I'll take this Tarzan. I'll take this Tarzan. And I'll take the Superman as well. So that was two quid for the six of them, which, you know, it's a bit more than I wanted to pay, but, you know. When there's toys there, you've kind of just got to pick them up. So, then, here is another stall I went to. And I got a fair amount of stuff, to be fair. Um, as I was walking towards the stall, they were kind of saying, uh, 
Oh, it's all out the loft. Get out with Graham or whatever he's called. He's get he's married now. He's 27, so we're clearing all of his stuff out. So I thought, 27 year old, clearing all his stuff out. There's bound to be some classic stuff in there. So I just piled over, and they were like, "Oh, we're not bothered. We just we just want some money for it. We don't, we don't want loads of stuff." So uh, these all were 50 uh, 50 pence, 20 pence each. So I picked up the bad guy from the Toxic Avenger. Not Toxic Avenger. Why do I keep saying Toxic Avenger? It's um, Blum and Captain Plant, and they got Shadow from Gladiators, the uh, Royd Scandal one there, and then this one who's a com competitor, uh, although he does look a bit like Vince McMahon. You're fired. This uh, bad guy from The Littlest Vampire, is it? The Littlest Vampire? Can't remember. A predator figure? The obligatory Star Wars vintage collection uh, figure. Who he needs a good clean up, this guy. Um, but again, for twenty pence, I'll, I'll pick up an army build them guys all day long. Uh, G one, I believe it's thrust. This one, so not bad. Obviously missing his wings, like, but uh, apart from that, he's in not bad nick. Uh, I had to pick this guy up, this really awful, random looking pirate. Uh, he's so bad, I can't see any markings on him whatsoever. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's right up my street. I love how they are. He's, look at his teeth. And then one of these kind of knockoff Masters of the Universe figures even come with his shield and his armour. And uh, he's absolutely, he's gorgeous actually. And I do particularly like his, his, uh, his purple eyebrows. And is it just me, or does he look like uh, Frasier? Hello, Niles. It's Frasier Crane. I'm listening. So they had that, and then this was in the 20 pence uh, bucket. But it's just a good massive, clear zip bag full of stuff. And I did see a muscle man in there. There you go. Uh, I will do a set of videos showing you what exactly is in this bag. As you can see, there is a sort of slightly injured action man-esque dude in there. And they wanted 50p for this, but the band was running around again. Like, this was his first toy he found that he was like, I'm a police officer, I'm aware. Uh, it's white plastic, so it has kind of got a bit of a sort of suntan going on. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is like 80s. It looks 80s, there's no markings on it. But uh, definitely looks very kind of like robot, robocop y kind of car, I guess. I don't know. And the final, no, not the final, the penultimate thing that I had was. Uh, this game child and they wanted £2.50 for it and I was like it's a game child not a game boy and I don't think they really knew uh, <laughs> the difference to be fair which I guess some people never learn I was like I'm not paying two fifty for it uh, I do actually have a game child somewhere which it kind of annoys me that I can't find it but uh, in, the, in the interim I've got this one and they had this big bag Morrison's bag of just Toys, all sorts of random stuff in there, uh, and I kind of saw a action force figure somewhere in amongst this. Whilst I was jiggling it about to try and assess what was in there, they wanted two quid for this big bag of stuff, and I thought that uh, could be a pile of crap. But for two quid, there's an action force figure in there. There's possibly other bits and pieces in there that might be quite nice. So I was like, well, I tell you what, I'll give you four quid for the game child and the bag of crap, and they were like, yep. Thank you very much. So I will also do another video showing the bag of crap. So that's me haul from uh, from the car booty boot. Pretty sure for all like uh, in total, I think it all came to just under fifteen pound, um, which I kind of was budgeting around about that. So I was rather happy with myself. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all later on.